Hello? Cancer. And Clouds Watchers, this is for your reading. For this current year. Good deal. Anyway, this resonates with you. Good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose the way it goes. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So please check your charts. Whatever. I'm about to move anyway. I'm going to move in with my love. Which is new for me. Anyway. Cancer and Crosswatcher. Someone has exploitations and what is lock and key. I say lock and key because this makes me feel like someone's using their exploitations. But keeping that shit under wraps. It's like uh, purposely sabotaging yourself. If the person isn't doing that for you, but that's what it really feels like to me. Like, someone's using their misfortune against another person, but they're keeping that information lock and key. We got the three of vessels with the rings reversed, like, there's no joy. Three people might be involved, but that separates a commitment right here, right? Or you find out there's no commitment because there's three people involved. We have creativity, the three of stones, which also knows with working with shit. But we have also hairy verse, which is like. Mm. Sorry, I mean, nice. Um. Hmm. Nothing compares to you. That's what I hear anyway. It's like, no matter how creative you are, you will not be the roots of someone's hair. And then, the last part, we got the horse, Capricorn towards Virgo, and the rabbit foot. This person is very bucky, but they are also unlucky. There's no luck with their rabbit's foot, right? Guys, I have to tell you, I am in love, which is the first for me, you know? I've, I've never had someone in my feelings like this before, ever. So it's a first for me, and she has me. So if you hurt me, bitch, I will fuck you up. I'm just letting you know. I love you. You mean way more to me than what I thought you would. And the expression of such is so different for me. I can't go without thinking of a day without you. Something which I haven't felt for a very long time and you bring it out of me every day. Don't break my heart unless you want me to break you, bitch. Yeah, anyway, back to the reading. Because, you know, I'm Capricorn and feelings are shit. Right? But I do like it. Mm-hmm. I don't know, dude. I don't know. She makes me feel things funny. She does. She doesn't even have to do anything. She just has to exist. And it's like, oh my god. Uh, I find the vagina does things. <laughs> anyway, back on the subject. Six of stones is the lock part. I feel like someone's using their exploitations against themselves as well as other people. I think that shit on their lock and key with the four of pentacles. Although they're not using their intuition correctly for whatever. Because they want to have a good time. They want to have a good time. Oh, that's a, Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This... Cancer! This better not be you, because I feel like this is somebody who isn't saying a lot of shit. But expects someone to believe them? Hmm. 
Not sure if that's a good idea. I can't sort of, Just saying. Three of vessels and the rings both reverse. Someone doesn't feel any joy and they don't feel as connected as they used to. Maybe not even committed they used to. We need to communicate that shit. For the love of God. Communicate. Send what you give out, what you give back in. But you might not be using your judgment, and I fell on the floor, too. So that's, like, something you're not even focused on. Actually. And quit your defending yourself. There's nobody else to fight. Cancer and Crosswatcher, um... Look, I don't want to come off as mean or anything, right? But you think that someone's stepping on your territory? Because <clears throat> that's how it's kind of feeling right now. It's like you need to communicate what you don't understand, and you don't understand what you don't understand. Which is like, yeah, I get it. No, you don't. No, you don't, bitch. Cancer, you have this terrible habit of just hoping somebody picks out something that you're feeling, right? You don't make the decision yourself. You leave it up to another person, right? And then all the chaos comes up because, like, they don't know. And that's because they watched the movie instead of the fuck fucking read the book. So then they come in at you thinking that it's going to let everything go, and they'll be able to open the door, but, oh, no, 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 They didn't get out of smoke enough, and now they got to come up with some more creative shit in order to figure out what the fuck your problem is? That's usually how it goes, Cancer. I'm a Capricorn. I'm just telling you what my perspective is, but I'm telling you, it's like you need to communicate because someone doesn't have the right judgment. And they're going to come in, like, really fucking angry. Okay? They're going to say some mean shit, and it's going to piss you off. But they wouldn't have saying, said that mean shit if it hadn't been for the fact that they don't know what gets you. Okay? That's the main point. They're only going to come in and say whatever the fuck they want to say if you do not speak what's on your goddamn mind, Cancer and Grass Watchers. Please pay attention to that. What more we're on this uh, top read. Where you need to communicate and not ignore your judgment. Oh, I had another book, too. God damn. Oh, Lord. They're just going everywhere. Oh, my God. My card just went everywhere? That's not normal. Cancer, are you a mess? Is that what's going on here? Is that why it feels like sudden... Lee and emotions and shit, because this feels really emotional. You know? And I'm not saying that to be cruel or anything, but it's like, it feels like you're all over the place. A lot. Very much so. And normally I don't say that with you guys, because, well, like, I mean, I do. But, like, not the way it is. You know, like, you're escaping something. Um, escaping something, but still looking back. Uh, escaping something that you probably put yourself in a trap in. Cancer! What the fuck is this shit? Cancer! What are you doing? What are you doing? I've had three... I, like, these are the cards I picked up, too, and it's, like, three escape cards. Look at these. Seven of Swords, Six of Swords, Eight of Cups. This is escaping for real. And still so you're wanting to go back to get something else, you know? Like, that's not probably the best thing to do as a trickster. You know, it's invading the home. I'm not sure it's going to heal your broken heart or whatever, because this dude's watching for whatever, waiting patiently, um, knowing that you're stuck at a crossroads, knowing that this person has read the book to understand why it is you will claw their goddamn face out with their dragon, and why everything is all fucking this world that you can't close the door to, but aha, uh -huh, you will take a breath of air and realize there's nothing to create with this shit. 
Cancer, I don't know what the fuck I just said, but it's for you. But I feel like you need to get away from somebody. You need to get away from somebody who expects a lot from you. I'm only in the second row. Creativity and hair. There might be something you're still trying to create, but the hair is rotten and old. That doesn't even have roots on it. Like, you can't connect to the person you're trying to connect to. And it's got you stuck in a mental situation. Cancer. And it's tumbling all around. Dude, your cards are like fucking leaving me. That's never... You know, this person's trying to teach you something. Cancer, your cards will not stay in my goddamn hands. I don't know what you're going through, but it's fleeting. It's fleeting. It's getting away from you. I don't know what it is, but it's under your skin. It's fucking with you. It's to the point where you're done with it, but you still engage with it, even though it bothers you. You won't let it go because it, it, it gives you something. I don't know what that something is. You just feel like, you know, like, if you do the right thing, it'll get you out of the fucking cold. Look at this. Dude, you think this is the right way to go? I don't think so, Cancer. I don't think so at all. I think you're handling something you shouldn't be handling as best you can. But it's fucking you up. And I'm saying that with a lot of fucking anger, and I don't know why I'm angry, but I'm picking up the shit. It's, you're angry about taking care of somebody. Which is weird. Because you're in a mother's sign, Cancer. You don't normally get angry at people for not doing their share. But you're actually angry about this. I'm angry about this. I don't even know why I'm fucking angry, but I just want to fucking punch someone in the face for you. Like, goddamn. Holy shit. Okay, Hanser, your reading slightly pisses me off. Just slightly. But it's because I don't like people taking your shit for granted, right? Like, the formula doesn't work. But it's not because of you. Anyway. Um, the King of Stones, Quartz... With a rabbit foot unlucky. Could be dealing with a Capricorn Taurus Virgo, right? Yeah, they're not very creative. They're not. They're not. They don't think of things. They don't know how to make decisions. And... They don't give you a break. Hmm. Are you dealing with a Pisces? Or someone with Pisces in their chart? Because I feel like this is somebody who doesn't realize how fucking fucked up they are. You know how fucked up you are, but you won't admit it. They don't realize it, though. You expect people to figure you out, Cancer. This person does not. That's all I gotta say. That's annoying, nonetheless. Make that clear. Anyway, let's clarify all these because maybe things will change once I go deeper. Hopefully, things will change. Doesn't mean they will, but hopefully they do. Right? Right. But seriously, I'm pissed at this person for you, Cancer. Like, fuck them. Like, they can, they know better, and they still aren't doing better, I feel like. They're keeping things in a rapid key, they're not using their intuition, they're just thinking, oh, it's just gonna be a good time. Eh, but they're still gonna try to crush you, or you then, Cancer. Mm. You wanna take a leap of faith, no matter how fucked up it is. That doesn't matter if people walk away from you or not, you wanna start something new. You want to see something new. The star, judgment, and the wand. Two are reversed. The star is not communicating that 
there's a bad lack of judgment here and not wanting to feel like you have to fight anymore. Please, give me the keys to the kingdom. That's what you want. That's what you want. Just hug on the slide. I hope it all goes away. Avoid a fucking tower. Hope the natural stay. Oh, oh, but the offer is so bad. This emperor you leave feels all sad. What the fuck, y'all? <laughs> Cancer. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you feeding someone some bullshit? Because I feel like it's you possibly dealing with a Pisces. Just feeding him some bullshit. Feeding him whatever. Making them comforted. There's another book. There's some more books, but I'm not reading all those. You got a judgment call that you really shouldn't be offering anything to the situation. You're hoping the other per person opens up. But there doesn't seem to be any sort of collaboration or parlay between the arguments between you two, right? And you're still their servant. Even though they're looking back and seeing how fucked up they are and how their emotions are going to fuck them up. They should have listened to people when they had the chance, but they fucking didn't. And then they try to come calling back. But it's like they already knew that this shit was coming. They already knew the ass beating was coming because they've been told about this shit before. And now they're just waiting for something. Yeah, frick it, I'll try to read these. I don't know all of them, so bear with me. A lot of them fell upright. I need to gather all these cards. Some terrible humanity where things go. Okay, so. You keep things precious to you, but things are getting kind of salty, right? Like, what's the point of having to murder crows if this crow went on its own, you know? It's time to cut that bitch out because there's be plenty of other things to drink. They aren't divinating. They aren't holding anything sacred. Yeah, you got memories with them, but are, you, are they for value or whatever? Or is it just something that you thought you didn't plan for? You know, there are things that you need to read up and look up on. Before you think you can sharpen it. You know, the moon isn't seeing anything with it. The cat doesn't feel confident. Someone feels like a push, uh, a pin cushion. Someone feels like they're doing all the work. Someone feels like they have to keep vampires away. And they're not lying about certain things. But at the same time, it's like these antlers really don't prove a goddamn thing. Still, something might need to be cut out because the memories aren't that good. Cancer, what the fuck? You're the only sign so far that's made me pull out so many books. On this deck, particularly. Well, I've never had to before, so this is something significant to you. This is important to you. Wherever you fall in your fucking chart. Anyway, what else? Cancer, I'm really mad as fuck for you. Just letting you know. I am severely angry. I'm also by myself in my parents' house. But I'm letting you know, I'm angry for you. Because I feel like someone's using your kindness as weakness. And it's starting to piss you off. It's just like, how dare you be ungrateful to me? I've done everything for you, you know? They want to sabotage. They think you're a worthless animal and you're useful for whatever. No, that animal is on the side of the bitch giving the dude something to drink. And when the King of Pentacles is reversed, I feel like he's sabotaging somebody. Whether he knows it or not, it doesn't matter. But there's a door open here. 
just potential to change things around cancer, whether you realize it or not. Eight of Swords, King of Wands, the Justice card, and the Five of Pentacles Reverse. This person is trying to get you out of a mental field, but that's something that you have to do on your own. God damn it, another book. It's gonna take time. You might run back to somebody, which will start a new thing. You might be an ungrateful bitch. Your mom might hear you're an ungrateful bitch. And probably come in and just whoop some ass. Like, fuck teaching you a lesson. Just whoop your ass. Like, just whoop your ass. Like, who gives a shit if it hurts or not? Like, that's the kind of... Like, someone's gonna come in and tell you something that you already know, Cancer and Crossfucker. And they have to beat your ass for it. Just letting you know. You might get an ass beating from your mom. Whether you want it or not. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, you're tired of carrying this burden around, of, of investigating, of trying to find peace. And eventually, something comes out that you weren't aware of, or you go looking for it. And that's what stirs the communication. It's just like, hey, we need to talk really quick, because I'm not entirely sure about the situation, you know? I'll drop one more. That'll help you be the empress. You need to communicate. Rizzle, my nizzle. Or whatever that word is. You know? Like, you need to talk to somebody. Talking to whoever it is, that's the empress. Whoever you need communication with, that's the empress. And you need to talk to them. You need to figure out what the fuck's going on. I feel like you've been left out of a lot of shit that you didn't know about and you need to know about before making even a decision. The Page of Cups, Two of Swords, Four of Swords, Reverse, all together now. Let's see what's bugging you. Where you can't create two. Some decision that gives you a break. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know. But we'll take a look to this little book. No victory for anybody. Fuck that shit. Like, everybody suffers. <laughs> I love you, Cancer, because you're just as destructive as can record, but way more open about it. I love it. Mmm. I love that taste of it. No victory for anybody. Mmm. Uh, you're not carrying anybody's swords for anything. You're not falling for the temptation, but at some point you wish you would have listened to people when they told you to. Which is interesting in itself. Why? Hmm. Did people already warn you about this cancer? I'm just wondering. Did people already tell you? Did they? Did they warn you about what the fuck was going on? Before you ever enter this shit. There's no shell. Your shell is missing. You don't have a lot of protection. You're not reflecting on things. And. There are memories here. Pressed. Cancer. I want to say this to somebody. Whoever you're dealing with. Who you already know their MO to. And once they boot you, because I feel like this is the momentum of booting, it's a momentum of like a restart, it's a momentum of replacement. Almost like on a narcissist level, you know, like you're no longer served me, I got what I wanted. Um, they're going to kick you and all you're going to be left with is memories. Whoever this person is, used you for whatever reason. Like... By the time you kick in the mom mode, it's going to be too late. Why are you tapping? I heard you. It's like, you already know that something's happening with your kids before it ever happens. 
kind of feel, right? I don't know, Cancer. It's up for you to decide, but... That's your reading. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. You know, I got to if you don't want to. I really appreciate it, though. But I love you guys regardless. We'll see you later. Love your face. Bye-bye.